Hi Cancer and welcome to your general love reading for the first half of May 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer. And it is a general reading so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But if you would like more specific details from your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on with you. First half of May for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. All right, first card out, we have the Three of Wands crossed by the Six of Cups. Okay, so there is a little bit of procrastination here. Um, I feel like, you know, there's movement in a certain direction or some steps have been taken towards a certain direction. Um, but it feels like there's there's a bit of a pause or it just feels like, okay, yeah, the steps have been taken, but it's taking a while to, you know, continue moving on in that direction. Um, there's definitely a very deep soul connection here that you have with somebody and it feels like there's also a lot of nostalgia um, between the two of you. Let's see. For your energy, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so you're trying to find your balance um, in this situation that you find yourself in. Um, again, I feel like there's a lot of nostalgia from the past, and I feel like this is true for the both of you. Um, you're kind of just, I feel like you're not really doing much, to be honest, at the moment. I feel like you're just kind of hanging in there, um, maybe even taking a step back. I feel like, you know, you really tried finding your balance and maybe maybe you, you felt like sometimes you did, sometimes you, you felt like you lost it again. And so now you're just kind of like taking a step back, basically. Um, but I feel like that, I don't know, it just feels like that's not really helping because this Nine of Swords energy, um, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety here. We'll clarify and we'll see. We'll see because, you know, you're in control over your own life. So this is definitely something that you can um, determine or take steps towards making easier for yourself. So again, we'll see. For the other person, we have the Five of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. So yeah, I mean, definitely, I'm definitely seeing the nostalgia on this person's side, um, even more so than on your side. Um, it could be that this person is also feeling a lot of regret about certain things from the past and how certain things manifested or came to be. Definitely feeling a, um, a sense of loss, sadness, grief, all of that. And so because of that, this person is wanting things to come back come back to life. They want to bring this back together here with the Ace of Wands and then with the Queen of Wands. I mean, wow, this person is really seeing you as very, very desirable as the person that they want to be with. So let's see the potential outcome. We have the Five of Pentacles. So it feels like there's still a sense of loss for some reason. Um, either that or somebody's getting, feeling a little bit rejected here. And I don't think that that's you because I see this person actually wanting you. So let's see, what is going on here, Cancer? Let's clarify. So let's see that Three of Wands with the Six of Cups. The Five of Wands. Page of Cups and the Tower. Okay. 
Yeah, it's like there's this waiting. There's a waiting for a reconciliation from somebody from the past. Um, and it's it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. Um, being in this state of just, you know, waiting, feeling like maybe things were set into motion, but then, you know, it's like, it just feels like it's taking forever, like it's just not not happening. It's proving to be very, very conflicting. Um, I feel like there's also some tension between the two of you. I don't know what it is that may have happened, but it definitely created some kind of a tower here. So that's that would mean some kind of a crisis, especially in terms of emotions. For some of you, this could be um, based on some kind of a, an argument. Whatever it is, though, the waiting, it's, it's, it's very unpleasant and very uncomfortable. Let's see that Two of Pentacles for your energy. The Ace of Swords and the Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you were... It's like you were bouncing back and forth between, okay, taking action, doing something here, and just waiting. Um, definitely feels like a lot of back and forth because these are very opposite energies here with the two of pentacles like right smack in the middle it's like juggling between the two of these um again it's also it was like juggling between finding out what is it that is aligned with you more what is it that is in your truth what is your right path here not knowing which path to take not knowing which way to go and not only that feeling like even if you did know the right path you know, wondering whether you're even capable of taking that path because that path might not be um, compatible with your feelings. And so, yeah, I feel like that's a lot to deal with. That's definitely a lot to deal with here. Let's see the hanged man. We have justice. Okay, so Libra energy and strength, Leo also. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Leo. Doesn't have to be though, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you're taking a step back, um, kind of like refraining yourself from making any decisions, almost like deciding to not make a decision. And even it's like it's strange because even that is taking courage. Even that is taking up a lot of strength from you to just kind of take that step back. And I feel like that's because maybe you're trying to um, really look at the situation like from a very, very like objective perspective. And that that's not always easy because a lot of times, you know, we just want to see what we want to see. So, you know. You know, good for you if you're doing that. Um, it, can, it can be hard. Let's see the Nine of Swords. The Five of Cups for you as well. And the Eight of Cups. Okay. Cancer. Again, I mean, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Um, so... Two things here. Number one, yes, there's a lot of stress. Yes, this is really hard. Yes, you're feeling grief. You're feeling sadness. You're feeling the loss. You're thinking about the past because you really wanted this reconnection here with this person. Or if it's not a reconnection, I mean, you just want this person, right? From your past, it's a very deep connection as well. I do see you, though, moving towards detaching from this being able to walk away from this regardless of whether you know you end up with this person or not that's that's besides the point okay because things can evolve in the you know future this is just for right now um you're gaining that strength to walk away it's not easy it's definitely not easy it's not one of those okay you know what i'm done with you goodbye it's not one of those um, but the message for you here is that, yes, it is possible and you can do that and you already are in that process. 
and it's just going to get easier from there. So let's see this person's energy. Let's see this Five of Cups because they're dwelling on the past too. Alright, the so clarifying the Five of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Okay, so some of you might also be dealing with the Taurus. It's like, I mean, I don't know. For some of you, this person may have been involved in some other type of a commitment, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be a love situation. It could be just about anything, and that's just for some of you. So this person is thinking about the past and thinking about how they may have missed out on a new potential because of that commitment. For If that's not the case for your situation, well then this is this person, again, thinking about the past, feeling that sense of loss for what could have been and that this connection with you could have been this hierophant, right? That it could have been something um, very deep, very spiritual, very um, stable. It's like this person is feeling like they have lost that. They have lost that, that potential with you. And it's like there, there's regret. There's regret around this. Let's see the Ace of Wands. The Knight of Wands and... The Nine of Swords for them, too. Gosh, okay, wow. We are both, like, having such similar, similar energies here. It's crazy. So this person is wanting to rekindle this connection, right? Bring it back. Um, but they're in and out. That's the thing. They're in and out. With this Knight of Wands, it's like they're not really stable either. They're, and that's stressing them out. I feel like they're kind of back and forth for different reasons. Maybe it's because of this other situation here, if if they have another situation. Whatever the case, you know, they're like what you're feeling, like this deep stress, this grief, this pain, they're feeling it too. For different reasons, like most likely, but they're feeling it too. Um, and it's like because they're They're not even stable within their own self. That's why they're having a hard time um, either coming forward or maybe they have. Maybe they have and you're not really accepting of it. Either way, they're feeling a lot of pain. They're, I mean, look at this Nine of Swords. Kind of scary, huh? <laughs> yeah. Let's see the Queen of Wands. Death, so that's Scorpio energy and the King of Pentacles. Whew. So, uh, wow, okay. They're feeling like like you're done um, coming up here. Just, and you, it's like you are, you are detaching. You are walking away from this, at least for now. Some of you maybe even for good, but at least for now you are. And they're picking up on that, they know that. They know that. They're feeling that ending of, you know, them, of this possibility of them having been that person in your life in the long term. And that is contributing to why they are feeling this Nine of Swords and this grief that they are feeling. Because it's like, you know, now it's like they're really desiring you. Right, let's see that five of pentacles. The world, the king of swords, and the four of swords. Yeah, I feel like this is this is coming to an end for now. Um, there is a completion. This is a good type of a completion with the world, okay? This is all about lessons having been learned or that they are being learned this is a chapter closing out um 
there's a lot of healing that is coming from this. And again, I, I feel like it's this person who is going to feel like they're the ones left out in the cold, not you. You might already be feeling that, but you're moving away from that. Um, but either way, this message is actually for the both of you that through that feeling of abandoned rejection, you know, whatever, um, loss, that's where, you know, the lessons are. And you are successfully learning yours here, all right, and gaining a lot of wisdom with that and also healing from that. And because this person is also going to feel rejected, they are going to also heal something that they need to heal. If this is, if this is a person who needed more determinism, that's something that they're learning as well. So, yeah, Cancer. Feels like it's a little bit on the heavy side for now, but again, as I said, you know, things will get easier. There is a positive resolution here. All right, so if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So I feel like, yeah, you know, this is a message. First of all, you are safe. You are going to be okay. And number two, um, you know, anyone else involved, this person included, they're going to be okay too. So that is it, Cancer. Um, this is also, you know, the, moon, the new moon in Cancer in this last card here. So I feel like, yeah, pretty strong message for you here. All right, those were your messages, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching and much love.